हेलो स्टूडेंट माय सेल्फ मुकेश कुमार तिवारी डियर स्टूडेंट टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट फॉर द चैप्टर नंबर सेकंड इन क्लास नाइन्थ केमिस्ट्री यू नो द नेम ऑफ द योर चैप्टर सेकंड इज मैटर अराउंड अस प्योर क्लियर सो लेट मी स्टार्ट द चैप्टर सेकंड चैप्टर सेकंड इज मैटर अराउंड अस क्यों क्लियर बिफोर दिस यू नो वेरी वेल दैट आई हैव ऑलरेडी टॉक अबाउट फॉर द चैप्टर नंबर थर्ड एंड फोर्थ ऑलरेडी इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियोज सो टूडे वी हैव टू टॉक अबाउट फॉर द चैप्टर नंबर सेकेंड क्लियर सो लेट्स स्टार्ट First, I will talk about for matter. You know very well that anything which occupies space has a mass and offers resistance are known as the matter. Clear? But here we have to first talk about for what is the classification of the matter are given. Clear? So let's start. Matter and its classification we have to consider in view of chemical classification. chemical classification as you know very well that matter are classified into two broad classes first one is the pure substance and second one is the impure substance impure substance or it is also known as mixture clear again the pure substances are classified into two major part element and second one is the compound clear again the elements have two part sorry three part element are of three types metal non metal and last one is the metalloid metal non metal and metalloid compound are of two types you have to consider first one is the inorganic compound and second one is the organic compound similarly mixture are of also two types first one is the homogeneous mixture homogeneous mixture and the second one is the hetero genius mixture clear so in the chapter number 2 we have to talk about for the chemical classification of the matter you know that matter are classified here two parts pure substance impure substance with impure substance are also considered as the mixture pure substance are of two types element and compound and again the elements have three parts metal non metal and metalloid and compound have two parts inorganic and organic mixture are of two types homogeneous mixture or heterogeneous mixture clear so let me start what is the definition of the pure substance clear especially when we talk about for the pure substance clear then we will say that the pure substance or that substance which are formed by only one type of the atom or molecules clear pure substance definition is the substances the substances which are made up of 
only one type of atom or molecules are known as are known as pure substance are known as pure substance and pure substance have pure substance have definite compositions this is the definition of pure substance the substances which are made up of only one type of the atom or molecules are known as pure substances and the pure substances have definite composition for example graphite this is the electrons of carbon water h2o gold etc these are the some examples of the pure substances clear so the pure substances are again are of two types element and compound so let me talk about for what is the definition of the element element we have to talk about the what is the element you know very well that element or also that pure substance which are formed only by the uh, one types of atoms this is the first definition of the element element definition is pure substance pure substance which are formed which are formed by only one type of one type of atom are known as are known as element in other words in other words elements are that pure substances pure substances which cannot split into more simpler form clear this is the second definition for the element pure substance which are formed by only one type of the atom are known as elements and in other words elements are that pure substances which cannot be split into into more simpler form are also considered as elements for example of the for example you know nitrogen oxygen clear fluorine etc these are the elements again the elements are classified into three classes you know very well metal non metal and metal oil so what is the definition of metal you know we know uh, for the metals the element which has some special properties are the elements which possesses some characteristics property like the ductility malleability solarity clear so on or also conduct the heat and electricity are considered as metals for example the metals the elements which are metals like sodium potassium magnesium aluminum iron etc these are metals so this is the definition of the metal the for non metals you know that the elements which possesses or which does not possesses 
the characteristics features like the malleability ductility luster and also does not conduct the heat and electricity are considered as the non metals clear and the element which possesses both characteristics like the metal as well as non metal are considered as no metalloid like uh, silicon boron germanium etc these are the some examples of the metalloid clear now again we have to define the metals in the language of the chemistry if we talk about for how to say the elements are metal or not so in another way we can say that the element which has uh, which has tendency to lose electron and also has tendency to form the cations are considered as the metal clear like in case of sodium you know very well that sodium is a metal because it loses its one electron and form the sodium ion so this is also a important definition for the metal clear like this na plus and one electron is loses by this sodium atom to form the sodium ion or cation clear so the elements which has tendency to lose the electrons one or more electrons and also have tendency to form the cation are known as metal clear similarly we talk about in case of the magnesium then you know very well magnesium also loses its two electron and form the magnesium ion like this so it has also tendency to lose the electron and form cation these are the cations clear so this is the second definition of the metal now we talk about for the next that is the non metals you know very well the elements which has tendency to gain one or more electron and also have to form or tendency to form anions when any atoms of element will gain the electron then it will uh, will be negatively charged that is anion and if any atom of the element loses its one or more more electron then it will form cation so we can define the non metal that the elements of the uh, atoms of the element which has tendency to gain the electron and also have to form the anion are considered as non metals clear so the examples for non metal is like fluorine it has tendency to gain one electron and have tendency to form the fluoride ion similarly the chlorine chlorine it also takes up its uh, one electron and form fluoride ion clear similarly oxygen it has tendency to gain the two electron to form the oxide ion so the elements which has tendency to gain electron here it will be the non metal and the elements which has tendency to lose the electron then it will be the metal clear so in this way we can uh, make a clear difference between the metal and non metal in both views like in language of chemistry and also in uh, in favor of the physical properties understand clear now we will talk about for what is the definition of the compound clear so i will talk about for the compound and its property in my next video so keep it on thanks a lot